Aluminum and glyphosate, or Roundup, collaborate to cause anxiety, depression, autism, and celiac disease. Hi, I'm Trudy Scott, food mood expert, certified nutritionist, and author of the Anti-Anxiety Food Solution, and I interviewed Dr. Stephanie Seneff, Senior Research Scientist at MIT's Computer Science and Artificial Intelligence Laboratory, on this very topic. And this is one of the interviews, one of the great interviews, that I did for the Anxiety Summit, which is going to air June the 9th to the 22nd, 2014. Recently, Dr. Senev has become very concerned about the current autism epidemic, and her research leads her to believe that glyphosate plays a critical role in this epidemic, as well as in modern diseases like anxiety and depression, which we know are on the rise. And it is this reason that I really wanted to interview Dr. Senev for the Anxiety Summit because she had some cutting edge research to share and she is currently doing further research on this topic. Dr. Senev shared this during our interview, which was a fantastic interview. I learned a ton and I know you're going to learn a ton. She said there are a group of us who are extremely concerned because the manufacturer of glyphosate has repeatedly claimed that it's almost harmless to humans. So people are using it very carelessly. They're not monitoring it in their blood, in their urine, in their food or in their water. Everyone is assuming that it's fine. And so it is extremely insidious and dangerous for that reason. And I'm sure you are not aware of how dangerous Roundup really is. She shared some more with us and she said that wheat and sugarcane, now keep in mind wheat and sugarcane has its own set of problems, gluten may be an issue and if that's the case you need to avoid the wheat. If uh, um, sugar needs to be avoided because of the stress on the adrenals and the fact that it depletes nutrients but this whole other issue is that farmers have been increasingly adopting the practice of spraying these crops right before the harvest with Roundup. They're not Roundup ready, so the crop dies, but that's the intention. And she said this is to hasten the harvest. And because nobody thinks it's toxic, it's happening and we're not even aware that it's happening. And we've got the celiac disease epidemic and all these gluten-free sections showing up in the grocery stores. And she said, I think this is directly due to Roundup residue in the wheat. Now, I said to her, I grew up in South Africa, in Durban, in KwaZulu-Natal, and sugarcane is the main crop there. And I asked her, is sugarcane in South Africa being sprayed with Roundup? And she didn't know. So after our interview, I went and looked it up, and sure enough, Roundup has been used on the sugarcane in South Africa for many, many years to hasten the harvesting of the crop. So if you are eating wheat or sugar or products that contain these ingredients, you are getting exposure to Roundup residues. She's published a paper, as I said, it was published in 2013, and the title of the paper, Glyphosate Pathways to Modern Diseases, Celiac, Sprue and Gluten Intolerance. And she shares how deficiencies in tryptophan and tyrosine, which are both precursors for making neurotransmitters, methionine and selenomethionine, are associated with celiac disease and how these match glyphosate's known depletion of these amino acids contributing to anxiety and depression. And the paper says, we conclude with a plea to governments to reconsider policies regarding the safety of glyphosate residues in food. People need to be aware that Roundup is toxic and dangerous. I invite you to join us for the whole interview. It was fantastic. We're going to go deeper onto this topic that I've just addressed, why it's sprayed on wheat right before the harvest, and how this contributes to the epidemic in gluten intolerance, and we take a much deeper dive into this topic, how this disrupts gut bacteria, causing a, def a deficiency in beneficial bacteria and an overgrowth of pathogenic forms. And we know from plenty of research how dysbiosis and bad bacteria in the gut can actually cause anxiety and depression. So if we've got this roundup disrupting the, the gut bacteria, things are going to get much worse. How it depletes minerals like cobalt, zinc, very important for mental health, molybdenum, manganese, 
by actually caging them and how it depletes serotonin and GABA levels, which are both calming neurotransmitters. And then finally, how it disrupts cytochrome P450 enzymes in the gut and the liver with devastating consequences. So I invite you to join us June the 9th to the 22nd and hear the entire interview and interviews with 20 plus experts as they share research, nutritional pearls, food, nutrient advice, protocols. The Anxiety Summit is going to address nutritional solutions to end anxiety, panic, social anxiety, OCD. It's a virtual online summit so you can listen from anywhere in the world and I'm your host Trudy Scott and like us on Facebook, Trudy Scott, Anti-Anxiety Food Solution. We've got a great community there with great discussions. And during the event, there's going to be even better discussions. You can get free access by signing up at theanxietysummit.com. Join us and listen to this great information and get great resources so you can end your anxiety or the anxiety of someone that you know.